Mr. Poetry Slam four times, and he's a three-time Grand Slam champion. So, relationships, right? 
I think I, the hardest thing I see, I know my faults. Man, the greatest single thing you can do in a relationship is just admit your faults. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> anybody in a relationship. Ladies, uh, admit your faults too. Yeah. 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 I don't, don't send your representative to meet somebody for the first two months. Send yourself. Don't want to waste any time. Right? I have come to realize that I am by nature a problem solver. So if you come to me with a problem, I will give you what I think is the only foreseeable answer. And I expect you to do whatever it is I say to solve that problem. I don't want you to tell me over and over again, ah, that won't work. And just not do anything except be a problem talker. I don't get along well with problem talkers. in a relationship with a problem talker. Ooh. Love her very much. <laughs> Just wish she would listen to me. Instead, she wants me to listen to her. Uh, it should be easy. It's like a free pass to just let stuff go in one ear and out the other. She doesn't want me to say anything. She just wants me to listen. Can't do that. Do solutions. <laughs> she told me she wanted me to listen. So I said, to what? <laughs> she said, listen to the heartbeat of my failed relationships and then love me like the cure for cancer. Woo! Wow. Wow. Answer the questions of my life with silence and sometimes just listen. You don't wear a halo and I don't need a saving grace, just embrace my pain enough to feel it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need you to illuminate my problems and make my wrongs right. Even the sun must let the earth sit in darkness at night. I can shine on my own. Yep. I just need you to be there. Yep. Be there like air. Ever present when I don't know it. Be the silent foundation of my life. Support me. Be my pulse. Invisible to those around me, but still real. Real because I can feel you. She said, I just want to know I can count on you. Add you like math to the equation of life. Be my quotient. Be the sum of my parts, beat with my heart, be in sync with me. Yeah. Co-write the story of my life as if you were inked with me. Yeah. Tattoo yourself to my hope so I can carry you into my dreams and then sleep with me so we can share the same dreams and then see our souls together. Stitch me into the fabric of your fantasies and once again answer me with simple silence. She said, just listen. Yep. Send me a silent stare. Talk to me with a kiss. Yeah. Miss me when I'm still with you. Woo! Resist the temptation to touch me and yet still caress me, bless me, treat me like a temple, worship within my walls and fall into my future, suture away my wounds and heal me. Stand in the next room and still feel me, she said. Rehearse me like poetry, speak me into existence, make me your adjective and describe us. Yeah. Trust me enough to know it, know it enough to show it, show it enough to believe it, relieve me of the wonder and understand it. She told me she wanted me to listen. So I did. Yeah. Woo! Hmm. Have more poetry. <laughs> more alcohol. <laughs> Shall I do a poem? Because that's why I'm here. <laughs> Light and fluffy poetry. Because what I just did was depressing. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do too much serious stuff when people are drinking. <laughs> Mess around and people cry. Yeah. <laughs> so, I will make you laugh. Oh, wait. some letters that I've been writing. They're not poems, they're letters. I once got into a Facebook fight. <laughs> Lovely thing, having a job with an office that gives you a computer. <laughs> Facebook all day from nine to five. I'm not lying. Ask anyone in here that talks to me. Woo! 
They know I'm not lying. All right. I wrote this letter to this person. I wish I remain nameless. <laughs> Topic of the conversation was, Gemini, I like your stuff, but it's not real poetry because you're not deep. Oh. Yes. Okay. I said, what does deep mean? He said, poetry should be so deep, people leave the venue, go home, think about it, and then figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that would really hurt books and CD sales. <laughs> my stuff out until two days later. <laughs> Why would you buy my CD today? <laughs> so I wrote this letter to him. Dear you, I don't write like that. I don't write like you, I write like me. I don't write all confusing because confusing just confuses me. I speak simply, powerfully and simply. People cheer my sentences because I said something they understood and could feel. They don't cheer my sentences because I said something unreal. I don't put words together in sentences that don't make sense. <laughs> I repent for my honesty, but your words just don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb your poetry down for me and speak to me like I'm stupid. Your poetry might be more powerful if people actually knew what you were talking about. <laughs> your metaphors are amazing. <laughs> like a maze. <laughs> like I'm lost in them and can't find my way out. <laughs> Your poem is dope. I just wish that I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> How can your poetry heal someone if they can't figure out you are talking to them? Don't just bend your words together because they have the same sound at the end. Words are powerful. You're just abusing them. You're misusing them. The blank expression on your audience is not deep thought. It means you're losing them. You're confusing them. You should speak simply and make an attempt at moving them. You see what I did there with the same sound? is great. It's an art form of expression and yes, it's subject to personal taste and debate. But there is no taste if people can't digest the words on your plate and there is no debate if people don't comprehend the words that you state, so pull out the fluff. Take out the filler and the overly described useless stuff and just write. <laughs> 